Hey y'all, it's Kelly, the Paranormal Housewife, and welcome from Peoria, Illinois. I know some of you are probably watching this and wondering why we're not in California, and <laughs> there's a long story for that. Since the last video I posted up back in April, March, a while ago, <laughs> um, the video of us making a welcome basket for our neighbor, a lot of things have happened. A lot. <laughs> um, one of the big things is I've had gastric bypass. And something just scared something at a jump hall. Something here in the woods. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, back to what I was saying. Um, I had gastric bypass. I've lost about 60 pounds since May. Yay. Um, still have a long way to go, but hopefully y'all can tell a little bit of a difference um, since last time y'all saw me. Um, then in July, we had our house completely packed up. The movers came, got everything. And me and Jeremy and our pets moved into a, a hotel for a few days with the expectation that we would be checking out of his command and moving to California at the end of the week. Clearly that didn't work. About three days before he was supposed to check out of his command, we found out that an extension that he filed for back in June still had not been approved and that we couldn't leave um his command or he couldn't leave his command until that extension had been approved so they gave him the option of either going back to recruiting duty or finding some place to stay since we were living in a hotel and that's pretty expensive so we went and stayed with my mom um after being there for about two weeks they kicked back the extension saying there was a page missing and they actually wanted him to do a re-enlistment. So he did the paperwork for the re-enlistment, submitted that. Two weeks after that, we found out because of how late the re-enlistment had been submitted, it had to be approved by a re-enlistment board. The downside to that is, um, well, the board meets sometime in October through December. There's not even set dates as far as I'm aware of right now. So we had to come back to Illinois after being in North Carolina for a month. And Jeremy is recruiting again. This time we are living in Peoria, which is about an hour west of Champaign, where we were at before. And I love Peoria. Peoria is gorgeous. Um, a lot of history here. The way that they have a lot of things set up reminds me of like the Wilmington area actually, um, Wilmington, North Carolina. So I feel very at home here. There's a lot of new haunted stuff for me to check out, one of which is the cemetery. If you want to know what is so special about the cemetery and what goes on here, I will drop the link to the blog post down below. It, well, by the time this video goes up, it would have come out yesterday. So, yeah, go check it out and read about the hauntings that have happened here. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. But, yeah, me and John Paul are hanging out here trying to find one particular grave and uh, hopefully we can find it. So far we haven't had any luck. Um, but yeah. As far as we can tell, we may be here in Peoria until mid-December. Which I'm really hoping is not the case because we just have a suitcase each of summer clothes. All of our winter stuff is in California with the rest of our furniture. And I really don't want to have to buy all new winter stuff just because we're going to be here for a couple of weeks or months. So, 
I don't know. Who knows? I might go back to North Carolina when it starts snowing because I don't like the snow. I, I like small amounts of snow, like a dusting, maybe an inch or two, but we'll see. Uh, John Paul's just enjoying the ride and exploring places with me. We've got him set up in a new daycare, which is really cute. Like, it's super cute. It's all, like, camping themed. And they call him a camper. It, it's really adorable. Um, in a previous post on my blog, I talked about some exciting things that I have coming up, such as a dinner and presentation by Troy Taylor, who is a paranormal author that lives in Decatur and he's going to be talking about the St. Louis exorcism. If you don't know about that I will drop that link as well because I did discuss that case a couple of years ago on my blog um, and I'm interested to see if he has anything new to talk about or has a different view of things than I do. Um, it would just be really fun. And to actually get to meet him would be amazing. I've read a lot of his books, especially since we're out here in the Midwest and that's what he talks about the most is paranormal stuff in the Midwest. Um, and then another thing that I have going on in October is there is a paranormal investigation and horror movie festival in Nauvoo, Illinois, which Nauvoo I've wanted to go see because Mormon history is really interesting to me. I'm not Mormon, but I do read the Bible with some sisters from the, Latter the Church of Latter-day Saints. Um, but Mormon history, ever since I've been to the tabernacle um, as a teenager, has just really interested me. So. I'm excited to go there just to check out their temple there, but also because of the festival. There'll be paranormal investigations going on and horror movies with Q and A's with directors, actors, things of that nature. So that'll be really fun. And it's a three day long event. So I will definitely be vlogging while I'm there. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can find, oops, sorry. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can find this one gravestone that I am looking for. Well, it's not really a gravestone, it's a, uh, memorial headstone. It was just put in in 2010, but hopefully we can find it because it's starting to get very warm out here. It's 11 and it's already like 93 degrees and the real feel is close to 100, so... I don't want to be out here very long, mainly because I don't want John Paul to get too worn out. He did have a long day at daycare yesterday. So let's go check this out and see if we can find either the Wailing Elm or the Headstone. See you in a few. So, uh, John Paul is in the back seat. We just got back in the car. He let me know that he was getting too hot, which I don't blame him. We've been out here for over an hour looking for this one particular headstone, and unfortunately, we weren't able to find it, um, which is a bummer because I was really hoping to see it. Um, but I also know that there are two other cemeteries on this property so there's a really good chance it's not in this one location uh, I just don't know where the other two cemeteries are finding this one was kind of interesting because I had to come behind some businesses uh, let me rotate this I don't know if you can see that but it's like yeah like a bunch of warehouses back here and 
it's just this one little dirt road that goes back here and I don't know where the other two cemeteries are I'm going to have to see if I can find out uh, and while looking for the wailing elm tree I realize I don't know what an elm looks like <laughs> so <laughs> Even if it was staying right in front of me, I wouldn't have recognized it, unless it was wailing. But, seeing how I wasn't about to hurt the tree, I wouldn't be hearing the wailing. So, for more information about the cemetery and the hospital that it was associated with, please check out the link below. Um, the hospital itself, was just amazing it was ahead of its time when it was built and ran um very modern in its beliefs and i really hate that they've torn it down because i would have loved to investigate it uh ghost hunters was out here uh season nine either episode three or episode eight i can't remember which uh they were out here for this hospital and I plan on going home and watching that episode right now because I still need to type up <laughs> the blog post um, I'm a little bit behind if you can't tell um, but by the time this video comes up the blog post would have come out the day before so I would have got my work already done uh, yeah we've only been in Peoria well I've only been in Peoria for a week. I came up a week after Jay did. So I've been having to do a lot of catching up on stuff, sorting uh, things out, setting things up, um, dealing with rerouting our mail, which was being routed to California, now needs to be routed back to Illinois, but to a different PO box. Um, getting him set up in daycare and getting things sorted out with vets and things like that. Um, and then just sightseeing in general because I wanted to know more about this town. This town is just... I wouldn't mind coming back here and living permanently. I definitely like it a lot better than I like Champagne. This one has a lot more history. Um, a lot more things to do. The museums down here are gorgeous. They're huge. And I will be going through one of them and sharing it with y'all because, well, I just love it. Um, so look for that video coming up soon. Uh, but yeah, if you do not follow my blog, please, please follow it um, because of us driving everywhere across the country multiple times this year <laughs> and still having to go across the other half uh, later this year I have been inspired to do a weekly theme where each week it's gonna be a different state and it's a random state um, and I'll be talking about paranormal cases there urban legends cryptids things of that nature just Cool, neat things um, and sharing that and then hopefully in October I'll have a big announcement well into September beginning of October I'll have a big announcement for y'all but still working on that one so if you don't have a big announcement that means that I failed ridiculously at it but I am despite all the hiccups that I've been going on I am still working on one of my dreams, something I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. I've talked about it before in my blog, I think. I'm pretty sure I have. But yeah, that, that's all the hints y'all are getting. Um, but yeah, once it cools down, I'm definitely coming out here. This is very, very peaceful, very quiet, very beautiful and yeah and please no hate in the comments for bringing my dog out um as you saw in video or the previous part of this video 
He is very well trained off leash. He listens to commands off leash. Um, he's very respectful. He doesn't step on the graves themselves. He walks around them or through the headstones, but never will walk on even the fallen ones. He stays close to me. He doesn't use the bathroom in the cemetery. Uh, he knows when it's a good time to use the bathroom and when not to use the bathroom. And he's just very respectful and quiet and very skittish. He got scared a few times by stuff in the woods. I'm guessing it's deer, judging by the amount of deer poop that is in the cemetery. Um, we're, we're too far in town for Bigfoot to be out here. But, uh, yeah. And I love bringing him on little road trips like this just because... He is so well behaved and it's good for training him even more and yeah and when we drive across well drive anywhere whether it's cross country or across the street whatever I mean this is what he does he just I don't know if I can even you can barely see him he just lays down in the back seat oh yeah and as you could tell by his cuppy right there and the drink I was drinking earlier we did stop by Starbucks uh, when we go he has to get a tall cup of whipped cream a little puppuccino is not gonna be enough for him but since he is such a good boy I don't mind getting him the tall cups uh, but if the baristas misunderstand and give us the small ones we don't turn those down either it's just he prefers the tall ones he, he, he's got to get a few good looks in um, to make him happy but yeah so you want to say goodbye to everybody or are you just tired was this too much okay we go home and take a nap hey y'all uh, back again uh, as you know from earlier that I was unable to find the grave that I was looking for with John Paul, who's kind of in the back. You can kind of see him in the back seat. Um, and actually last night after dinner, Jeremy came out and helped me go through the graves again just to make sure I didn't overlook it. So we did some research, found out um, possibly another location of one of the cemeteries. So we're going to go and see if my research was correct and see if we can find the cemetery and find this one headstone so wish us luck so it turns out we are in luck it was a cemetery that I was able to locate let's just hope this is the correct cemetery Hopefully the grave we're looking for is here. Jeremy and John Paul were able to find this right off the bat. So we were able to find it actually very quickly and very easily. And a lot faster than I was expecting so that's awesome as I said earlier in the video well yesterday for me but earlier in the video for y'all I will leave the link to this post in the description down below so you can read about why this headstone was so important and what happened when they went to go bury this gentleman and there is a puppy behind me <laughs> We're going to check out the rest of this graveyard and go check out one other place that is also related to this headstone, but in a different cemetery, not related to either one of the cemeteries that we have been to so far. So, okay. What you doing?
so we made it to Springdale Cemetery and I think we found the headstone that we were looking for for here. The cemetery, by the way, is massive, like probably one of the biggest ones I have ever seen. And I will definitely be coming back here when it's cooler to do some walking videos through the cemetery, um, showing you some of the really cool and interesting headstones that we have passed. And yeah, but just, this is just a very small part of it. It's like in the very back. <laughs> yeah, it took us 10 minutes just to drive out here to find this one headstone. Um, yeah, and it's really cool. There's a lot of neat sections and I will probably be doing multiple videos from here once it's a little bit cooler, just cause it's so cool. Yeah. This is the headstone that we were looking for. This is the headstone of Dr. George A. Zeller. It says he was Captain Assistant Surgeon, U.S. Volunteers, 1899. Graduated Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri in 1879. Donor of Jubilee College State Park. He abolished mechanical restraints and instituted non-restraint in the care of the mentally afflicted a state service of 37 years. So that was the, sorry, my hair is a mess because of the wind. So that was the final headstone that I wanted to find for the post that is about to go up, which will already be up by the time you're seeing this video. And uh, so please go check it out. Learn about the wonderful Mr. Zeller and the institute that he uh, oversaw and how he ran things and why it is so haunted and why that other headstone we were looking for is so special. So thank you so much for joining us today and well technically yesterday on uh, searching for these headstones uh, if you do not already subscribe to this channel please do so hit the little bell icon so you can be notified when we have more videos up and also please go check out my blog at paranormalhousewife.com I'll put links and everything in the description below so you can go check it out and definitely follow it because I have a lot of cool posts coming up and if you have any recommendations on places in central Illinois you'd like us to go check out, please leave it in the comments below. Yes, thank you. Y'all have a good one. Bye. Bye. What do you have to say to the viewers? Cuppies? You need all the cuppies? Okay.